welcome to week five of No Ordinary Christian. Uh, we dove on Sunday into the book of James, the fourth chapter. Uh, wow, right? Uh, very, very heavy. Um, I had to go in my office afterwards and just kind of pray for a while as, as I felt the just the weight of that message. Um, and today, I really want you to dive in. And I know I keep saying this week after week. But be honest, um, th this is really about James saying, hey, you know what? You guys are supposed to be the power Christians in this. You are, you are supposed to be the mature Christians and you're anything but. Uh, God's trying to send you. He's trying to, he's trying to, he's dispersing you throughout the land to take the gospel, to take the truth of Christianity, to be true disciples. And he said, you're anything but. And, and I really... Uh, I, I, hear me, I'm not saying that our church is anything but, but what I'm saying is I know that God is, is calling us and giving us some opportunities. 2020, we've seen opportunities that, that I've been working on for years to happen, and they're just falling together. We're getting into schools like we've never been able to before. There's things happening. But, but God then also brought me to James and said, okay, but I need the crossroads to step it up a notch right? Uh, we went through it. I got flipped and it's great. You know, some of us got flipped and, and uh, um, really, I think, I think transformed a little bit more, but, but it's a continual process. And, and I want you to read through James four and I don't want you to beat yourself up. Okay. That's not what I'm asking you to do, but I want you to be honest with yourself and really look. And that's what all I've been doing is really look at myself and saying, Test me and know me. See if there are any wicked way in me, like David would say in the Old Testament. God, I, I don't want to be like I was. And the main thing, if you can wrap anything about James, the main thing is God is calling you to focus on him. His desire is for you and your desire should be for him. And he's saying out of that desire, he's going to transform every situation that you're in. He's going to transform your children, your grandchildren, your workplace, but you've got to focus on him. Your desire should be for God and not for others. Stop replacing uh, uh, the fulfillment of who God is with other things, right? And, and because when you do that, that's when you argue, that's when you fight, and that's when you get upset. It begins to, to dominate your world and you become a very lackluster Christian. You, you're no longer a disciple. You're just a person wearing a really cool t-shirt and saying, oh, look at me, I got, I got flipped. Ooh, look at me, I'm a Christian. And they look at you and what the world sees is what James was seeing. Why do you argue? Why do you war? Why do you commit murder? Why do you covet? So take some time uh, tonight, today, if, depending on when you're doing life groups, and just really, really dig in. And I hope you don't leave it at life group. I hope you continue to think about it. Read through, read through James chapter four over and over again and remind yourself he's talking to those that would consider themselves mature Christians, those that should be very mature Christians. I love you guys. Been praying for you. Hey, this Sunday is uh, spring forward. So Make sure you, you, you switch your clocks. You don't want to be late to church. And then we start growth tracks. Those of you that uh, have never been through growth tracks, a great opportunity. Let me know, though. I, I need to know um, so we can order enough food, okay? Love you guys.